Hey guys, welcome back to Salty Bottom Outdoors. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to stick around after the video for this week's tackle tip. Real. There you go. There he is. Bolden got him. Bolden got him. Yeah, right there. Right, right underneath the boat. Dead gum right underneath the boat. Oh. Uh, did I snag another mullet? Morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Salty Bottom Outdoors. We out here, very first stop. Deep, deep bayou out here. Lots of moving water. I marked lots of bait on the bottom. Uh, put out a couple of bottom rods with some live shrimp. It looks like I'm getting played with already. I'm gonna give him a little slack because he ain't take it yet. Um, give this spot a few minutes. If nothing, we picking up and moving to the next spot. So second spot of the day, uh, first spot that deeper bayou, we stayed there about 10 minutes, had no nibbles. Pushed back into a smaller bayou. We're in about eight or nine feet of water right here in front of the boat. Um, we had a couple of hits. So we're gonna work this spot for a minute. If we don't catch anything, we're gonna keep working down this bayou, see if we can't find some redfish back in that duck pond that's back there. For $25 for the rod and reel. There you go. There he is, Bolden got, got him one. got him. That's a trout. That's a trout. I don't know if he's gonna keep, he looks itty bitty. That's the first target trout. species of the day. Oh, come on. Right, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Straight up the front, dude. I'm coming, we gotta That's keep the pole dinker, though. We catch a couple more like this, we gonna move. I ain't wasting shrimp on these guys. If that's all they got here, I ain't using live shrimp. I'm gonna throw my jig on the bottom. There he is. That feels like a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a keeper. There we go. That's a good one. That's a 13 inch trout. Can I use this one right here? Let's keep her in the box, baby. It's staying down. It's a red. That is a red, it's a little red. That might keep though. Oh, he's nice. Oh yeah, that's a nice red. That'll keep. All right. Oh, and he choked it too, boy. There we go. That's it. What's that, on a like 17, 18? I don't know, I'm about to measure him here in a second. Y'all think he wanted that matrix shed? Yeah, <laughs> Brian? There he is, you got him. Oh, Bolden got oh, him got Bolden, you got, he nailed that's that That's a trout, kid. he's coming up. Shaking his head too, you can hear it. That's a thinker, unfortunately, I don't think he's coming. <clears throat> Red fish. No, that's good. Oh, that was good, that was a 13 inch, Bubba. Hey, you hey, said you 17, are. Ryan? 17? On the head, 17, 17 inches. <laughs> that's a mullet. <laughs> that's what was bumping the lines. <laughs> Never we mind. Were, we were snagging them, that's what it was. Don't need the net. Don't need the camera. Hello, Fou mullet. Foul hooked mullet. I need Bolden's feet. Bolden, hand me the net. You good, Bolden. I got him, I got him around it. Woo! Yeah, it's a little red. Oh, yes, some red. So we've been getting little bitty bumps right out here. <laughs> Finally hooked up on one. Bolden had one on his court but the line was wrapped around a crab trap buoy out there so he couldn't set the hook. It finally came off and he set the hook and it spit the hook. I cast out there, pulled up this nice, about 18 inch redfish, maybe a little less. Slow fishing so far, pretty much no tide movement. We've been getting bumps here and there, just once the tide changes in an hour or so, they are gonna turn on, but uh, we're not complaining. There he is. We might be on a pattern, boys. That's another, I think that's another red. Nope. Oh, I know the mullet. Second foul hooked mullet of the day for me, right? It's Wait a second. Be. Is that the same mullet? It is. Dude, look at the scar. Is I think <laughs> I could I could be mistaken, but I think I foul hooked the same mullet twice in the same day. Look at the scar right there. I hooked the other one on the same side. That's a trout. That's a trout. Get him in the boat. That's a keeper too. Oh, I just got hit. I missed him. About a 13 inch trout, nice keeper. So we made a move. We are waiting for the tide to change right now. It's supposed to change at 10 o'clock. It's about 9.40 or so. Um, the water is still dead still. It's kind of stained. Still picking up a couple small trout here and there. And once this tide starts rolling, these fish should, should get fired up pretty good. Ryan got him one? He has a trout. Yeah, he got him one. Yep. We found the nursery. The big boys will start chewing soon, though. 
the keeper. Water's cleaning up, the wind started moving, the gnats are gone back to hell where they came from. There he is, there he is. Oh, it's a nice trout. That's a nice trout. There we go. I knew there was some in here. I mean, he ain't no monster, but that's a keeper. That makes some trout nuggets for sure. I've been getting bumps about five yards or so off this bank on almost every cast. That was the first one I got to commit. I don't know where that drop off. It drops off pretty good over there. That's a gar. Is it a gar? <laughs> Is it a gar? I think it's a gar. I'm pretty sure that's a gar. I caught a glimpse of him. Bolden got one? Yep, there you go, Bolden. There we go. Thank you, brother. Nice fit. Keeping him? Yeah, keep him. Tide still hasn't quite started moving yet. It's trickling, but it ain't like we like to see. Oh. Bolden caught a keeper. Boy, I wish I would've caught that hook set on camera. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right at the boat. Right at the boat. Oh no! He was big. Oh, he was solid. Is that a, is that a catfish? Is that a catfish? That's a catfish, man. Man, uh, I thought that was a nice fish. Yeah. Get out of here. Tell you boys, don't mess with my line. That's a trout. Another decent keeper. Look, he was right off that bank back there, Bolton. Yeah, just about where you cast. Hanging out. Might have boys over there hanging out with you. Hey, Bolden got him one. Bolden got him a good one. Bolden got him one. Right off that bank. He had good fish. Right off that bank. That's a nice one. That's, That's another 13 incher. I might try cork for a little bit. First cast. I think that's a trout. That's a head shaker. That's a nice trout too. Oh, that's a nice trout. I may need the net on this one, dude. I ain't lying. I think that's a trout. I felt the head shakes. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come around that side. That's a nice trout. I need the net. That's a nice trout. Oh, he's not that big. I'm still gonna net him. He's about 16, 17 inches. Oh yeah, it's a good trout. Too late. Too late. I'm getting him in the boat. Oh, that's a fat boy. Go ahead and pull that net out and leave it out there. Oh man, look at that hoss. That's the type of fish we want. That's the type of fish we want right there, boys. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Flip him, flip him. There we go. That's another 16 inch trout, boy. Bolden got him a nice one, boy. What, what size is that, boy? Oh, and I got one. Right where Bolden just pulled one out. I don't think he's as big. No, he ain't. He's a dinker. Bolden got the big one, and I got the baby brother. I got the baby boy. That's a nice fish. That's going to be a netter. That's a red. Oh, that's a big red. You got the net. Oh, yeah, I got it. He ain't done yet, though. Healthy. You good, you good, you good. I just don't want you to break him off. That's a nice red, boy. Oh yeah, I told you he wasn't done yet. I told you he wasn't done yet. He saw the boat and said, nope, I'm out. Easy, easy. Let him do what he's gonna do. He'll wear out. Let him walk around a little bit. That's a nice red boy. That's 22, 24 incher. I barely caught a glimpse of him. He took off. Where's he at? He's right under the boat. Right under the boat. I see the leader. Easy, put the rod out there so it's not rubbing on the bottom of the boat. Right down in the water. Off to the side. There you go. There you go. Keep him out the trolling motor. That's a, good fish. That's a nice one. Oh, almost had him. Almost had him. He ain't done yet. Oh my God. He's still not done. He's fired up, boy. I'm thinking 22 to 24. There he is. Yeah, that's a good Booyah. one. That's a 24 incher, I think. Give me your phone. There you go, Bolton. That's 24. What you think, Ryan? That's 20, 23, 24, somewhere in there. He choked it, too. He choked it. You got your phone? Yeah, I'm going to get him on hook for you, bro. Oh, my God. What? He's way in there, huh? Can y'all see that? 
Can y'all see that? He wasn't coming unhooked, huh? Duh. It's way back in his, in his It's building. in his crushers. That was a bite. That was another one. Yeah, red fish. Right, right underneath the boat. Dad gum right underneath the boat. Yep, trout. Good one. Right underneath the boat, about boy. 13 inches, barely gonna make it. He's a keeper though. You got him? Got Where's he at? Did he come off? No, he's still he's on there. Still he's, there. Still he's still there, there. there. swimming down. That might, that might not oh, be a speckled trout. Oh, That's a little black drum. He ain't gonna keep though. They gotta be uh, 16 inches, same as redfish. Nice one too. That's a nice one. That's a nice trout. Oh, that's a good one, Kevin. Woo hoo! Nah, that's about a 15. She was barely hooked too, just in the outside corner of the mouth. Woo, one, one tooth on that girl. 15. Putting a nice little box together, boys. If we're not getting bites, I wouldn't change colors. If we're getting bites but not hookups, that's when you change color. Yeah, because the fish are interested but not committing. Make sense? Right. I didn't have my hand on the freaking reel. Oh, he's still on there. That's a, that's a keeper. Nah, he's a little skinny. Nah, he's not going to. Nah, buddy. That's a bass. Weren't you just saying you had you surprised you ain't caught a bass yet? Oh, 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 oh. There he is. Oh, I snagged. I, did I snag another mullet? Yeah. That is the third mullet I've snagged today. The mullet king. Hey, that's them hair trigger hook sets, boy. Just bump the line and you're done for. You ain't even got to touch the hook. I got you. Oh, 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 oh. Something's on it. It's swimming sideways. Got it. I got him. That's a bass, I think. That's a bass, yep. Yeah. The ditch pickles are showing up, boys. The ditch pickles are showing up. We got a, we got a slam, baby. The bone got him another ditch pickle. That's a trout. There you go. There you go. That's a keeper. Well, what happened to his tail? Something happened to his tail. Dog. Yeah, that poor little guy. Look at that. Oh boy, got eight. He well, he was a 14-inch trout. Oh, I just missed a fish. Oh, that was a strike. Oh, you got him now. Oh, Bolden's got him one. That's what it is. It's small trout. I don't know if he's going to keep. He might keep. Nah, he's pretty skinny. I, I just finally got a bump. First time in a dozen casts or so. There he is. There he is. He's a dinker, though. Nah, I don't think he's going to keep. Little male. I hear him grunting his ass off. See you, buddy. There he is. Oh, he came off. Red or trout? That was a trout, but he didn't feel very big either. Come on, disappear. Disappear for me. Come on. I don't want to see you anymore. Disappear, come back with dinner. Oh! That's a, that's a trout. Nice one. I don't know. 12 and a quarter, that's a keeper. That's a, might be a decent fish, man. It might be. Oh, yeah. That's a decent fish, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Flip him in. There we go. That's yeah. a nice trout, Ryan. Back on board. Thank you. There man. you go. All right. Let's get a picture of it. I can't believe we're catching them in water this filthy, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, I know there's a deeper channel over on that side. I just don't know how shallow it is between here and there. I want to end a, end a good day by getting stuck on a freaking mud flat. I will end a good day with a fish, though. There you go. That's a trout. He's a decent one, too. I think that's a trout. That's a nice trout. Give me the, give me the net. Oh, my God. He choked that voodoo shrimp. Oh, you think they wanted that voodoo shrimp, boy? that voodoo shrimp putting in work. I'm glad she choked that thing because I wasn't paying attention. I just turned around and the cork was gone. So guys, this was the last spot of the day. We didn't even really want to stop, but we had some live shrimp that we wanted to use. There's a big bayou that we fished all the way through, goes way back there and comes out and drains into this big open bay that's got some grass on it. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's patches of grass all around us. And we're like, well, we're just gonna fish until we're out of the shrimp. We're almost out and I tied on a voodoo shrimp and I cast out over here against some grass. I don't know if y'all can see it. Some grass over on this side. 
and they got a big old stud 17 inch trout and i'm actually really surprised we're catching because this water is not clean at all in this little setup i had a voodoo shrimp i tied on here and then i got a little inexpensive clip on cork that's a good way to end of the day all right so that's it for this episode of salty bottom outdoors headed out from the last fishing spot headed back uh, i had bolden over here on the boat and ryan y'all don't know ryan he runs ryan's barbershop over here off fagan drive in hammond he cuts my hair all the time great guy y'all go see him thanks for tuning in catch us next time out here in the beautiful louisiana marsh we'll see y'all then This week's tackle tip, we're gonna talk about lure maintenance. Actually, I have a uh, Dockside Matrix mullet. I've had it for a long time and the uh, hooks on it are starting to get a little rusty. The split rings are starting to get a little rusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all that. All you need is your lure, a pair of split ring pliers, and a set of hooks. If you don't know what size hooks go on here, you can always message or call your manufacturer I've done that with lures before and they'll tell you what size hook you need to be running. I went with the extra wide gap treble hooks. I used this this past weekend and I got a lot of blow ups but not any hookups. I'm hoping the wider gap on these trebles will make this top water stay pinned a little better. So what you do here, you take your split ring pliers and it splits it open like that, feed it through come right off. So we just do that to the rest of them. So now that I've got all the old hardware out of the way, I'm going to start putting the new hardware on. So what you do is exactly the opposite. Open your split ring up, feed it through the eyelet. Simple as that. So now we've got all the split rings on, we're just going to put the trebles on. Find the split, open it up. Feed your hook on there. Same way you did onto the eyelets. Boom. There it is. So there we go. Any of your baits, top waters, jerk baits, switch baits that have uh, split rings and trebles. You can change their hooks and split rings the exact same way. All you need is a decent set of split ring pliers. They work great. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around in this video. If you didn't already, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below. 